Good morning, Wode. You must be going off there, Wode Bado. What does that mean? Uh, intro of Got Redness. Um, dude, yesterday was amazing. Went to the gym twice. Went to the gym in the morning. Yeah. Went to the gym in the right at the afternoon. Yeah. Then, after that, I was like, I'm gonna go play some basketball because I watched Professor Live and I was like, look at this little twerp. So I got to the freaking basketball court. And I'm like, hey, I challenge you all to a game to the death. They're like, oh, well, we don't do that, but we'll get you to play basketball. I was like, all right, fine. So we played basketball, and uh, me and my buddy, <clears throat> we played some basketball, and we lost. It was uh, it was seven to one for a little bit. It was actually, okay, it was only two on two. Sometimes we do five on five. Um, it was two on two, seven to one for a while. Then my buddy started scoring, and I would start, I'd start shooting. I don't want to. I don't want to make it too easy for us, so I try not to get it in the basket. I just, you know, let them know that uh, I know where the hoop is. So I throw it towards the hoop, and it bounces out like I planned. And, uh, yeah, we ended up, I think it ended up being 20 to friggin' 17 or 18. I made two of those shots, even though I was trying not to. Oh, it's fun. Basketball is fun. <clears throat> and these kids are good. You ever watch Professor Live? He's freaking hilarious. He'll go up and just mess with people. I just, I, you know, he's he's just a small. He's my he's my height. I, just, I was like, you said twerp. It's probably probably the same height as me. Okay, maybe he's a little shorter, but whatever. Nobody's counting. <laughs> We're measuring. We don't count. You don't count measurements. It wouldn't make any sense. But um, well, he's awesome. So we were playing. Got an amazing two workouts. Then went to the thing. I was already so exhausted. Plus, I sucked at basketball uh, in general. So really, that's not the excuse. But it's still the excuse I use. I'm like, I just worked out. I just worked out. You guys don't understand. You little high school kids. That was really fun. Um, <clears throat> I was listening to just uh, Joe Rogan just now. He's talking about how amazing. He's like, man, civilization. Look at the pyramids. Civilization. That must have been even better than what it is today. I'm like, mm, maybe. I mean, or maybe they're just some big triangles on the sand. It's a big triangle some people put on the sand. Can you imagine? Egypt. They, uh, okay, I don't know. Who knows? Like, I don't trust anything anymore. Even, you know, you'll Google something and, like, what did I Google? That the, and this might be, might be true. If it is, it's crazy. But uh, the location of the Great Pyramid on Google, the first four results on Google, which means Google stacked it to where the, those four things are the first things you see about it in the whole internet. Well, the Great Pyramid was built at the exact coordinates, was it latitude, of the speed of light to like six decimal places or seven decimal places, something like that. Like, the absolutely insanely accurate. You're like, mm, is that real? But every freaking page of Google said it was real. I don't know. I don't trust Google. No offense. No, you, I trust you. You, I know you. Yeah, I trust you. But uh, anyways. <clears throat> And everybody else is Googling them. Uh, okay, so. And, you know, it's just a bunch of robots now, isn't it? So, a big triangle in the middle of the sand that happens to be exactly at the six decimal place location, the speed of light, latitude, and then longitude. I could be wrong, could be longitude. And then longitude is uh, some other freaking crazy thing, you know? And it points north perfectly, whatever. It just points up because it's a triangle. No. Something else about it. Anyways, to me, it's a big triangle in the middle of the sand. To Joe Rogan, it's evidence their society was even more advanced than us being able to talk out loud to a little piece of glass that sees us in HD, records it, and then broadcasts it across the entire world all at once. Obviously, he really doesn't think that. Maybe he does. But um, I love triangles. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> triangles are the best. Triangle man, triangle man. Doing the things a triangle can. What's he like? It's not important. Triangle man. Is he a... No, that's particle man. Tri triangle man. Triangle man. Uh, triangle man hates particle man. They will fight. Triangle wins. Triangle man. See, triangle man beats particle man every time. According to they might be giants. I just, I just solved it. I just solved another conspiracy. Oh. It must have been giants that built the pyramids. It must have been big boys. 
Ah, oh, wouldn't that be wouldn't that be something if every five thousand years, uh, the uh, dormant alien race of giants or whatever, they uh, come back and have us build some kind of shape on the sand, <laughs> demolish everything, get rid of all technology, and then you have like Ra. Have you seen Stargate? Ra like rules. He's got these glowy white eyes, uh, and he's like you know godlike. It's like, it's kind of funny to think of, I almost stopped recording. That would have ended this brilliant so far video. Imagine <clears throat> you're in control of the world. You write some like kind of book on, hey, here's the battle plan for the next 5,000 years. Uh, we're gonna have to re, we destroy, after we destroyed all the stuff, except for the big triangles on the sand, we got rid of all the previous humanities, iPhones, entertainment. If I was God, I would love that cycle. It's so fun, you know? It probably gets a little boring, but wouldn't it be fun to like, it's almost like if you have, like let's say, if, if you can create a universe and then in that universe, just hit the fast forward button and then get to the interesting parts and then go through and live all the experiences of all the life in the universe. You know, maybe the ones that you like. Um, and then, uh, like me, obviously, oh man. So, uh, but no, you would, you, you would, uh, and then you would watch all the entertainment, you know, you know, as God, you would like watch the entertainment, like of the movies, listen to the new music. Cause it would be different every time. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be crazy, crazily different? And if you were God, what, what cooler thing would there be than to recreate a genuine original, uh, uh story or an origin story of life that, uh, you know, okay, sure. Either everything was designed very specifically and you know, that's how it's supposed to be. But if evolution is true over a super long period of time because of natural selection, it would be kind of fun as a god to create a world and see what they do. See what they do, see what beautiful art they make, what poetry they write, what uh, levels of understanding they do, uh, how quickly they turn to evil, uh, you know, how hard they'll fight to get through, like the Revolutionary War to defend the least racist, awesomest, geno the least genocidal nation in the history of the world, America. Unless uh, you think that genocidal means don't kill any of the other races and invite all of them in. I mean, obviously, uh, at certain points, there's some maniacs that would go do some things, but it would be the least effective genocidal. You know, the successfully genocidal nations are the ones you can go look at them and they're all one color, you know, like that one over upper in the upper, upper right or the one in the lower right or, you know, well, Hawaii was pretty good at it. There was, uh, there was two different groups of people and then one of them is gone. You think there would be any people left in a genocidal nation other than the ones they like the most? Uh, yeah. Eh. Anyways, the least effective genocidal nation in history, maybe. But, um, yeah, watch people fight for love and freedom. That's beautiful. That would be cool, you know? If I was God, it would be fun to be like, all right, I'm going to live in the hearts of all of these people, especially the ones that don't suck. And the ones that suck, eh, you know, they probably, they'll, you know, they'll do some, I'll love them too, but eh, they'll probably uh, suck. <laughs> no, he's in everybody. <laughs> he's in everybody. He's like, he's a regular, <laughs> oh man, that sounds a little, it's bordering on some blasphemous talk right now. You guys want to look at, uh, I want to look some plants. Pretty. Man, one of these days. I'll just be driving, it'll be driving itself. And then uh, some somebody in the headquarters will be like, oh, you make Toby Turner's car steer off into the ravine. And they'll be like, yes, master. I'm not, uh, computers don't really talk, but they'll just go, beep, 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 master. You probably still say master. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I love those cactus. Anyways, this has been a fun couple days. I don't know uh, the trajectory of my life, what it's gonna be. Maybe it's almost over. Uh, but uh, it is fun every day to try to make somebody smile. And I would have been making videos a long time ago, but I could never find a place to rent. I was like, I, I applied at 50 places. And they were like, no, we're looking for a family of five. I, literally 50 places. And I was like, okay, uh, in Florida. It was so difficult to move to Florida, I couldn't even rent. Uh, but at this point, it's just kind of like looking back and be like, okay, well, going now, where do I want to be? I don't know. I like kind of going around. 
it'd be fun to be in a, a town of people who are having fun, you know? Or it'd be fun to be in a town of people where they're all just killing each other and burning it to the ground. That sounds fun. That sounds way more common. It's because it's mostly peaceful, you know, really. America has become mostly peaceful. Just like it says in the Bible. Beware for times when the media says things like peace and then they show fire in the background. You're like, oh, what is this? Is CNN plagiarizing from the Bible? Um, anyways, and obviously all media is equally owned by probably the same billion and trillionaires. So it's not like you trust one over the other. You trust, you trust the good people as far as you can do that. Not that far. But uh, I kind of like the, the YouTube, man. It's, it's nice. It's been a fun experiment. Anyways, I'm going to go build a giant triangle in the middle of the sand. Can you imagine just like walking around seeing this big giant triangle? You know, be like, oh, this is the most amazing thing. This must be on planet Earth. And then this guy just came from Dubai. He's like, why well, I, mean, I, I just found a place. They, they created their own water and they built a, a, a freaking skyscraper on top of the water that wasn't even supposed to be there just to make their own island and every room is made of gold <laughs> and there's a car there's a there's a closet in every room that has a lamborghini in it you don't think is that cooler than a big triangle <laughs> oh bless your face if you sneeze during this video bless you peace off outro of redness and darkness